Once the exile was in the hands of Gentiles, and today the exile is in the hands of those who supposedly appear Jewish. The Holy Zohar says that during the Messiah's time, the people of Israel were ruled by evil, the scourge of evil. These are people, says the Holy Zohar, evil and sinful, who cause great trouble to the people of Israel. We are in this situation and we can't help anyone. God rules over them as he ruled. Ishmael, according to Rashi, was named so because in the last days they had so much persecuted Israel that the people of Israel will cry out to God and he will hear their cry. So here we are in this great turmoil and don't think that it's only God who rules over us. It is this begets and this left and the goddess around us. What does God ask of us? What name was erased in Egypt and the children of Israel cried out to God? To cry out to God, to cry out to the Holy One, blessed be he, and say to him, Father, enough. Jacob tells his sons that they are going down to Egypt, and God the Almighty will show you mercy and send you another brother. As Rashi says, Shaddai, the one who has said enough to his world, will say enough to my troubles. We need prayer, we need a cry, we need good deeds, we need unity, you know, I think. This, and I'm shocked, it rips me apart to hear, I think it happens to everyone regarding soldiers being killed. You know what's the most painful? It sounds like at least 40, 30%. 40% is friendly fire. Recently we're killing ourselves, what does that imply? Does that imply disunity? How does it not kill you? Not because they, God forbid, intended it. To be honest, I think the real victim is the soldier who killed, not the one who was killed. What life does he have after that? Poor, poor man, how does he cope with this? How can he remain sane knowing he's killed a fellow soldier from his own unit? I don't know who it is. Who can stay sane after something like this? Why is all this happening? They're trying to divide us. They're attempting to dismantle the nation. They want to tear the nation apart and incite a civil war, just like they successfully did last year. But we can't give them that satisfaction. We need to follow the Torah. They should put their faith in the Lord and Moses, his servant, stick to the teachings of the Torah, adhere to the greatest people of our generation, be devoted to God and acknowledge there is nothing apart from him. There is only one who can aid us during these dire times. And that is the Creator, bless his name, and perform acts of faith. Don't be doing birth calculations, only calculate the confusions in your mind. You will live with God, have faith in God, walk with God, blessed be he, and you will see. May all those people who find refuge in you never feel ashamed or cursed. This is what we say during Purim. There is no such thing in this world, gentlemen, where someone will walk side by side with God and God will let him down. No such thing exists. It has never happened and it will never exist.